hey what's up guys welcome back this is shukesh once again as you requested i'm uploading a side by side speed test in between the all new galaxy on 8 and the j7 2016 which is by far one of the best mid-range now these two phones are identical so it's hard to tell which is which just keep in mind the left one is the samsung galaxy on 8 which i've been using for a couple of days now the device on my right hand side is obviously the J7 2016 and the price of both devices here are 16,000 rupees currently and you might be in a dilemma which one to buy considering you are getting a full HD screen and 3 gig of RAM on the ON8, 720p screen and 2 gig of RAM on the J7. But there are some differences on the CPU and the GPU. You are getting Samsung Exynos Octa 7580 chipset on the ON8 whereas the J7 is running on Exynos 7870 chipset. The clock speed is same and the GPU is slightly different. You are getting Mali T720 on the ON8, T830 on the J7. So there isn't huge difference in specs but unfortunately the ON8 cannot handle high graphics games like Nova 3 Modern Combat 5, Brothers in Arms 3 etc whereas the J7 can play these games but very smooth. Now before I start the speed test let me quickly show you the benchmark scores. I want to also mention I have just updated the J7 so its performance is better than before. The end to the benchmark scores are very close. The 3D Mark Gamers benchmark scores are also not that much different. So what's wrong with the ON8? Well, you are getting a full HD screen and the GPU has to push this high graphics. As a result, the phone lags in high-end games. Let's see whether on interface on third-party apps whether this ON8 can compete with the J7. I will also check the RAM management which is very important. Now let's kill all these applications and start the speed test with a boot. Well the Galaxy ON8 is ready and the J7 is booting. So in this boot test the ON8 is the winner. Well I will first check some system apps then I will try third party apps and games. On the dialer as you can see the J7 is quicker as I expected so let's check the messaging application as well and once again the J7 is the winner. I won't say the ON8 is lagging on the UI but the J7 is just faster. Next I have the contacts menu and I think this time also the J7 responded quicker. The next app I am gonna open is the gallery. Just like before the J7 is the quicker one. So not only on gaming but also on system applications, the ON8 is lagging behind the J7 2016. Interestingly on this camera app, the ON8 beats the J7. Let me also check Samsung's S Planner. I think both are very close, though it seems the J7 was slightly quicker. There I have some pre-installed Microsoft applications on both phones. Let's start with the Skype and... As you can see there isn't any difference in loading time, let's also check the MS Excel. Once again it's a tie. Now I will launch some apps that uses the internet. Let's start with this play store and once again the J7 is the big winner. Of course I will now check the YouTube application. This time the ON8 is quicker. I will now try to play the unboxing and hands-on of ON8. Let's see what happens. As you can see the ON8 has started the video faster though there is an ad. Let's try another one. And once again the ON8 is the quicker one. So on YouTube application the ON8 is the winner. I will now check some games. Let's start with the Subway Surfers. Well, it was very close though I think the ON8 was momentarily faster. Next I have the Asphalt 8. Once again it's very close. Next we have the Nova 3. 
well this time the on 8 loaded this huge game much faster so what's happening well as you know there is 3 gig of ram on the on 8 and 2 gig on the j7 so the j7 has to close some applications to make space for these games i think this might be the reason the on 8 is quicker than the j7 let me now compare the ram management to make this clear to you i will reload the first application i have opened let's start with this messaging app and as you can see the j7 is reloading whereas on 8 has it in the memory here you have the contacts looks like j7 still has it in the ram so that's good there is the s planner and once again it's reloaded on the j7 next i have the gallery and it's ready on the on 8 reloaded on the j7 as expected The YouTube app on the J7 also lost what I was watching so this is totally annoying. So if you are halfway through a video and switch to another application like a big game you have to basically search and load the video once again. The same thing can happen for your games. It will start from the beginning so if you are thinking of getting the J7 you have to bear with this issue. I think J7 with 3 gig of RAM would have been perfect. All these games are kicked out of the RAM of J7, so in multitasking the ON8 is the big big winner. In fact, if you are not a hardcore gamer, I think you should actually go for the ON8. The slight lag on the UI is not a big issue, the extra 1 gig RAM makes a huge difference. There you have the RAM status, both phones reserve some memory for the OS and the TouchWiz UI is also eating up around 600 to 800 MB of RAM. So the actual usable RAM for third-party applications on the J7 is pretty low, whereas ON8 excels in this department. Well friends, we are at the end of this speed test and I hope that you have found it helpful. You can check the description below for the full reviews on this Galaxy ON8 and the J7 2016. I would also appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and keep in touch for more updates. This is Shukesh Banik signing off. Have a nice day guys.